What's up everyone, this is Impact Easy, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. Last episode we just continued doing what we're doing and doing battles and trying to collect some gold. Also, I've come to an epiphany, I was thinking about this today. I need to slow down. I need, in my mental state right now with making YouTube videos and working full time, I'm almost, I'm not rushing to put videos out, but it's, I'm not sitting down with the game and just focusing on what's happening. Um, I need to get out of that mind frame, especially with a game like this. It, I need to take the time to actually focus on this game and not worry about trying to get as much in as I can per video. Otherwise, I just see mistakes happening and this playthrough not lasting a long time. Um, so I, I'm going to be definitely taking more care when it comes to what we're actually doing. So they might, um, um, and I'm also going to try and make the videos a little bit longer, probably 40 minutes long instead of, usually I like to keep them around 30, but I think 40 will be the new norm for this. Um, so with that said, we're going to continue. Also, I wanted to say thank you for all the support for the new playthrough. I'm glad to see a lot of, a lot of people are actually unfamiliar with the desert as I am. <laughs> it's nice to see that I'm not the only one out there that doesn't know much about what's going on. So with our ranged unit here, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to take Gifted as with him as well. It's so quiet now that it's nighttime. All I hear is the wind, the waves, and the cats meowing in the background. So we'll take this, and yeah, I guess range defense will work too for him. We can level him, level him up again. We'll take defense or melee defense this time, and let's go for resolve at least once. Get him above forty. Okay, with you, we're going to go student. And somebody said in the comments about how the um, indebted are low health and low morale. I didn't know that before. So I'm, I'm going to start um, watching out for how many I actually do hire of them. Because the last thing I need is a bunch of people that have no morale. But they have zero upkeep, so it's it's kind of a trade-off there. Um, let's do fatigue and resolve. I want to try and get resolve above 40 on, on everybody. I'm still working out which numbers I should be going towards for each stat. Usually I'm going for about a hundred in fatigue. In my research, I'm kind of, <clears throat> I'm kind of confused on fatigue as it almost seems like a perk dump, how... I guess my understanding is when the game, earlier versions of the game, fatigue was a decent strat to dump into where you could just build somebody with a, a bunch of fatigue but and have a big pool of it. But it seems like nowadays, my understanding, that isn't the case to have builds with huge fatigue. Um, it's almost like the game makes you take a turn to just not make a move and just recover. Let's take health here. Resolves at 40. We have a... I mean, we could raise this up. He's at, he's above 100 on fatigue. We'll take defense here for two. And... I guess, yeah, this will be fine too. The range defense. And, oh shoot, I should have taken this. Well... Okay, I guess we're doing it again. Good. Yeah, that's a little better. Got some decent rolls there. Okay. Also, I'm going to try and keep my guys as as southern as I can with armor. Kind of role play with them. And yeah, not try and get stuck on one brother having certain weapons 
I'm, what am I trying to say here? We're going to be very flexible in what we're doing with our brothers, I think, except maybe for armor, just to role play with that. Even if we find some really good armor, maybe we'll switch it out. But for the most part, I want to kind of keep them looking traditional. You're not very traditional looking, <laughs> but I mean, for the most part, that's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, so we've done that. We're still working on our renowned task. Let's wait for day. And then we'll head into town here. Looks like, what's this? Come across a man holding the reins of a lanky horse whose mangy mane has seen better days. Those braves fast enough. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the race. I've done this before and I've won. 500 crowns? I mean, I'm sure it's just a random result. So we'll take this. I mean, let's see. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> All right. Well, we tried. The best, if he can beat, best at the beast. All right. Well, unfortunately, we, we lost that. But yes, it was quite amusing. We had the, we had the crowns to, to try and gamble there. Also, I'm going to try and stick to the southern regions and take missions down there and focus on enemies and kind of stay down here as much as I can. There's only three towns down here, though, that we can see. I don't know if there's something in the fog up here. And these aren't actually desert towns. These are plains. Yeah, the desert ends right along this edge here. So I'm going to try and do my best to stick down here. We're up here now because we took a carrier mission, if I'm re remembering correctly. And that's what brought us up here. So we will be doing missions up in the north, but I want to try and focus as much attention south as much as we can. Okay, so we need some, some tools, definitely. Pretty expensive here, so maybe we'll hold off on that. Got a ton of food, though. Usually don't like to have this much food. It's just gonna end up going bad. Okay, so let's, uh, have we been up here yet? We haven't been up here, so we'll scout this area out. Looks like we have six nomads wandering around. We do have an injury. We got a pierced arm muscles two to four days, so. He's the only one that's injured on us so far. Okay, so we got Fletcher here. We do have a mission. I think our morale is pretty good. We don't need to... Yeah, we're not going to go have a drink. Everyone's pretty good. Uh, tools are even more pricey up here, but we need them. So I guess we'll bite the bullet and take them. Everyone's good when it comes to weapons. Nobody's really lacking anything. I think I have everybody as well equipped as I they are for now. We're saving up weapons for future battles. I would like a pike or some sort of weapon that would let us put somebody in the back ranks. Armor's not too bad either. We could be doing better, but we everyone has... This is probably the weakest stuff we have on 30. This is 50, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Rolo's pretty new. So let's take this mission. Looks like we're going relic hunting here. Sounds simple enough. 350 crowns. Obtain the Dice of Destiny at Stone Fist. Keep ruins. Alright. Um, so we're spending 93 crowns a day for upkeep for our men. Do we want to hire somebody? Is anyone good here? We have a refugee. Sometimes, I mean, for 40 gold, let's check him out. Who knows? He might be amazing. We've been lucky so far. So he actually has okay defense. Fatigue's not too bad as either.
health is kind of worrisome, though. But I mean, for what was it, 40 gold we just spent on him? That's not bad, I don't think. So yeah, let's, we'll keep him. Let's bring him onto this fight that we're going to be doing. And we'll give him some equipment. We're not going to be able to give him much. Unless we want to buy something. I mean, we, we got a decent amount of funds. Can we even buy him a shield? No, there's not even a shield here. And this armor is pretty pathetic. I mean, is it even worth... Is it even worth investing that money? I could buy him a pitchfork and he could stay in the back. That's... That's what we'll do. Let's buy him this... I mean, pitchforks aren't great. But at least he can attack from the... The back ranks. And I need to get him at least something on his head. We'll take this hat. And then maybe we can get him something better in the next fight. So he's literally wearing a tattered sackcloth. So we'll do our best to keep him alive. What is this? Wine. Interesting. All right, so let's uh, do this. A raided, a oh, public executions. What is this for? What does that represent? Check the wiki here. The trusty wiki I have on my second monitor. Public executions, plus 35 food available. Okay. There's no way I'd be able to remember every single one of these. <laughs> I mean, it, there's so many of them as I scroll down the page. Okay, so where are we going? Up north here. Okay, we got enough food. We're, we're supplied reasonably well. Was there... Yeah, there wasn't a temple in there to kind of heal up. I could switch these guys out just so he doesn't get any more, any more injuries because he's pretty bad right now with that. I doubt he'll be healed by the time we get there. If not, we'll just switch him to the back ranks. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. It's not going to be... <laughs> He's going to be pissed that we're giving him all this crappy gear. Okay. We, yeah, we don't want to give him that. Let's give him the bludgeoned. Alright, so he still has this. He's not going to be very effective. But at least he's in the back so he won't get hurt anymore. I am really liking this Fire Lance. That first shot that you get off, as long as you get a decent, like an angled shot to hit two enemies, it's actually pretty effective. At least it seems like it's going to be in the early game. All right, so we're good to go. I wonder if you can make armor out of this, uh, these scales. That'd be really cool. All right, so what do we have in here? It's an unknown garrison. Oh, okay. Arriving at the ruins, you're expected some bandits to be looting about. Instead, retrieving the dice of destiny could not have been more easier. Okay, so some ancient auxiliary. We can't even back out to switch up some weapons. My understanding is that bludgeon weapons are better for auxiliary units. It's just four of them. Or sorry, not auxiliary, but skeletons and alike. Piercing, or not piercing, but uh, slashing weapons, I guess you could say, would be better for zombies or the undead. So anything to decapitate them. Uh, yeah, let's just skip everyone so they can move forward. Let's 
turn on... There we go. Okay, we actually can use the terrain to our advantage. So we're going to move you here. Yes. Can we even get a decent shot off? We can't. So let's just... Let's just not fire. Oh, what does a range shot do? 12? I don't think it's worth firing. Ah, what the hell. 12%. I've hit with worse. And I've also missed with a lot better. Yeah, we're not even going to worry about this. We we actually won't shoot with, with Harad there. Okay, so... Let's try and get... Put him in the wrong spot. Damn it. It's okay. Let's put you here for now. You might actually get stuck there. I should have done one, two, three like this, not put him there. But I can't let him get hurt, so I'm going to have to put you here. And we'll break down that shield. Okay, we're not going to make the same mistake here. We'll put somebody here. Um, you can come down. Why don't you take this spot here? You're going to come here. Because you can fire, you can't hit him from there. Okay, so we can actually move him forward now. Let's put him right here. We can get a better shot somewhere. We still can't. Yeah, we're kind of... It'd almost be better to move him down here. Let's just shield up for now. And wait for the onslaught that is coming. Still just 9%. Okay, good. We can move him out. Let's do that, and then we can fix our roster here. We're gonna, it's going to take a turn, because we're not going to be able to move Omar here just yet. We're still able to come through. Still, that's a strong shield. A big mistake for him to go there. I can't go around. Okay, you're just going to have to sit there. Headshot. Still just 5% shot. What is armed with shield, shield wall, distance of two, resistance against ranged weapons? Yeah, well, there's not much I can do about that. I can put him with a knife, but I'm not going to put him in harm's way with his low armor. actually put him here. It's kind of a big screw up putting him there. Not here, but moving our 
moving uh, Sahari in the wrong spot. It's kind of slowing down the whole pacing of this fight. Damn shield walls. I love that shield wall. There we go. Let's get you down here. Let's get you down here. Protect our archer. I can swing around now. Yeah, you're pretty much useless right now. Okay. We don't have swap yet, so I can't move these guys in and out. His armor's pretty low. He should be able to withstand another attack, hopefully. Yeah, I thought that's what he was going to do. Okay, so that could have gone better, could have gone worse, but we did okay. That first mistake was... Uh, it kind of slowed us down a bit. Alright, so we got the Dice of Destiny. Shield wall seems like the way to go. I just can't help myself to attack twice. Get the damage out. Shield wall is pretty powerful. Alright, so we got some... Some equipment here. We actually have a level up as well. And another one. Ooh, let's take the number four. All right, so we can switch these guys back. I guess he's healed now. Or who's... Yeah, we need to switch these guys out. Let's, uh... Let's do that once we figure out what we're doing. I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's no missions here. What's this? High spirits. Yeah, there's no... We don't need a drink with the men, do we? Everyone's in pretty good spirits, yeah. Okay. Cat's going crazy. Let's head out. There's nothing in... Nywick. So we'll head up to Grunmark. And we should be healed by then with that 
any one of our injuries. It's not a walled city, is it? No. Nope. Well, we got a temple here, so if it isn't in, if it's not healed by now, then well, ruins. It's settlement. We have a two-star there. A okay, pierced arm. We're going to spend the money. Just so it's dealt with. Broken ancient sword. It's like the sword you start off with in Dead Souls. Ancient spear. Yeah, these helmets. You can definitely give this helmet to somebody. Do we have Rolo? Yeah, Rolo can have it, right? Eh. Yeah, we're gonna give it to you actually, and we'll give him this helmet instead. So this is. 25, 100, 25 and 30. Oh, so the Ancient Spear is better. Fatigue of 6. Yeah, 25, 30, 25, 90. 20, 30. Okay, so the, it's a broader range of damage. We can give it a shot. It does, it does the same as a regular spear. Why not? Let's, let's try it out. So this is 15, 15, 15, 15, 10. Yeah, this ancient spear isn't as good. This thing though, what is this? A falx. So what, do, what does it do? Okay, so it's decapitate, I like that. 25, 35. I mean, I might actually just keep him with this. 25 to 80, 25 to 100. We're definitely collecting our decap weapons. This is just broken sword. This could probably go. Yeah, we're gonna keep, we're gonna give him this. I like that decap option. What else were we looking at? This. So we have 30, 35. Okay, so that's better. Fatigue of three. Well, the fatigue's better, but that's... And effective against armor is better. It's funny that a broken ancient sword is better in any way than this thing. Okay, so let's... Let's sell some of our stuff. We'll keep the spears. What do we need? We actually need armor. Right? Because we have someone with sackcloth. I'm actually, we don't really need to buy that. We can wait until we pick it up on at the end of a battle. Okay, so we do have a mission here. What do we got? <laughs> Rightfully belongs, isn't it? Okay. 100 crowns, so it's not even that much money. Follow the tracks near Grunt Mark. Grunt Mark. Okay, I guess we're following the tracks. What do we have in here? Anybody? Anybody with some... Something to offer. We have a rat catcher here. He's only 110. We could give him a shot. We do need one more person to fill out our rank. We don't have the equipment to fill him out anyway, so... 
We'll just forget it. Okay, so let's... Are you going to come with us? That would be nice. No. So we have seven thieves. Really would like to get these healed up before we enter enter the battle. We'll be healed by tomorrow. I don't want to lose them. Let's stay close. Leading us into the mountains here. Man, these guys are going on a tour. Okay, hold on. Okay, they're still waiting to be treated. Come on. Heal, damn you, heal. You said tomorrow, t yesterday. Oh, fuck, we got caught. Okay, well, oh, we can fall back. Okay, let's fall back. Okay, he's gonna head into the mountains. Okay, we're healed up. Let's, uh, let's switch these guys out then. Okay, let's switch them out. Okay, so let's give him his rucksack pitchfork and classic farmer. All right, let's put you over here. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's fine. So we have a raider, a brigand poacher, and some thugs. And we actually have some high ground. Um, question is, do we want to take this spot, kind of move our line up one and then down? Which we probably will do. They do have a ranged unit. Is there anyone... I don't see anyone with armor that I really desperately want. Also need to try and capture this high ground too. They're going to... They're probably going to be rushing for these two tiles here. If I know the AI as well as I do. That was a pretty big mess. Okay, you're... Yeah, you're gonna stay there. Hey, they're not... They don't seem too interested in coming up there. They probably want this tile. So we're gonna move you here. Yeah, they're trying to go for that. So we'll put him here. He can't hit him from there, no. Well, at least we can fire some arrows at some of these guys who are pretty vulnerable. If it wasn't for that... the line of sight being blocked, I'd have a decent shot. So we can head up here. That's better. And we still missed. Okay. Yeah, they're clumping all down here, so let's... Let's help this. by coming over here. Thirty-four percent. That's it. Just kind of thinking, hoping he was going to... If I were going to miss, we'd hit at least somebody else. I'm going to put you... I'm actually going to... Uh, do we want to keep you here? I'm going to put you down here. Actually, I'm going to put you down here to help out this southern flank. Let's get 
get you down there. So we're kind of boxing them in here. That was a nice shot. I'm not losing this high ground, so you're going to have to come to me. There we go. That works. Big swing and a miss with the pitchfork there. Excellent. we can head behind him. Let's start heading over here. You have full movement. Do you know you're... Let's start heading down here. Yes. Let's decapitate this fool. Nice. Pretty decent shot to the head there. Let's start heading down and helping take care of this archer. I'm gonna bring him up here. Oh, they actually came down. I guess that's not surprising. Oof, that went right over his head. Um, I can come here and actually shoot this. Oh, it won't hit him. Okay, I thought that would go two tiles. I got melted there. Oh yeah, he's gonna retreat. I uh, I don't know if we'll be able to catch up to him. Yeah, probably he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to go. Oh well. Let's just let's just end this now. No, it's over. He can go tell his friends the horrible story that he just saw unfold. Actually, let's check our brothers here. Let's get these level ups. Oh, resolve's pretty low. Let's get this up. And that. He's at 37. He's not... Oh, we get another chance here. Okay. So we'll use it for that. And then we'll put... Put this into defense. And also, let's see our stash for a second. We have a, a flail here. It's not the one that I really want.
But it's better than the bludgeon. Okay, let's continue on here. Gotta start getting some decent gold coming in. How many brothers have we lost? Just one, right? Yeah. <laughs> one day, one battle. Bitten by a serpent. Hell of a way to go. Okay, so we managed to complete that. We'll head into town. We'll do some markets and check out a brother, maybe. Uh, we'll do that in the next episode. We are hitting the 40-minute mark. I'm glad you guys uh, have been getting good reception on the uh, starting up this Desert Mercenary playthrough, so I'm glad that you guys are enjoying that. And if you want to continue watching, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.